Archaeologists in Egypt have released the discovery of a tomb from early in the years of Egypt's new kingdom, called the 18th Dynasty, which dates back roughly 3,500 years. This era in Egyptian history, in which Pharaoh Tutankhamun and Queen Nefertiti ruled, is also the one that contained both the life and the death of the tomb's inhabitant, a jeweler and goldsmith by the name of Amenemhat, 3,500-year-old tomb unearthed in Egypt, living somewhere between 1567 BC and 1320 BC, Amenemhat and his tomb were found in the necropolis of Draabwalnaga, which is near the Valley of the Kings, an area where pharaohs of the New Kingdom constructed their crypts, while alive. The jeweler resided in the city of Luxor, about 310 miles south of Cairo, spending his days crafting gold jewelry for the elites of ancient Egypt, including the royal family. While his tomb may not have been worthy of residing in the Valley of Kings, the necropolis where he lay was undoubtedly reserved for those of high standing, including noblemen and even government officials. Strangely, while there is no question that the tomb belongs to Amenemhat shown by the sculpture of he and his wife in a small area in the crypt, along with a small statue of their son his remains have yet to be identified inside of it. Currently, two burial chambers have been uncovered, containing mummies, sarcophagi, and more. In the second chamber lie three mummies, while initially this may be seen as being Amenemhat and his family, unfortunately, it has yet to confirm. However, don't think that you'll soon be in the shoes of Brendan Fraser, as the archaeologists have an explanation that doesn't include bloodthirsty mummies. While this may be the first time in recent history the tomb has been opened, it's not the only time the crypt has been disturbed. It's been hypothesized that the tomb was opened and reused during the start of the Third Intermediate Period between 1070 BC and 664 BC, which is when the newer mummies were laid within the tomb. Archaeologists hope that continued investigation will uncover more discoveries, as 50 identifiers, also called funerary cones, have been found. Funerary cones are scripted with the title and name of their owner and are used to identify the owner of the crypt. Of the 50 cones found, only 10 have been linked to a body. The other 40, officials say, belong to four others who have not been uncovered yet. Egypt is hopeful that this discovery will help increase its currently lagging tourist sector, but it even has the potential to provide vital information about those who lived in this amazing era of ancient history, with the team teasing that more news is planned to be announced next month. As for predictions of the news that has the archaeologist skiddy, no one can say for certain, but according to Zahi Hawass, former Egyptian Minister of Antiquities, we have only just begun to scratch the surface. Modern Egypt is built on top of ancient Egypt, he told The Guardian. Until now we've only found 30% of the Egyptian monuments. 30% is still buried.